y'all. Welcome back to Man Bar for another Big Bead Beer Review. All right. Today we are going to be trying another Yingling, America's oldest brewery. Yingling Premium Beer. So I got lucky to find this recently around here because it was the only thing I could ever get. It was like the black and tan and the regular uh, lager. I found these, and I've, I've been finding them every day, like well, Walmart, uh, for cheap. I believe it's, yeah, $16. About $16 for a 24-pack. That's around $0.60 cents a can for Yingling. That's amazing. I love it. I love it. It's from Mary's Old's Brewery, and it's Yingling Premium. It's basically a Pilsner-style lager. Whereas, like, their traditional lager, which I'm sure you're probably familiar with, like that sign, that one is an amber beer, it says, which is a, basically a Vienna-style lager. And this one is a Pilsner-style lager, similar to Budweiser and all the other, you know, big-time big old 1980s-style beers, Paps and Schroes and Schlitz and all that. So, Yingling Premium Beer. Coming in at 4.5% ABV, 12 IBUs. Um, of course, they don't put that on their can because Yingling sucks for that reason. Fuck you, Yingling. Put the ABV on the can. Yingling Premium is a Pilsner-style brew. Golden color with a pale malt character that finishes crisp and clean. Premium blends both two-row and six-row barley malt for a thirst-quenching taste. Nice. A regional favorite. It delivers a well-balanced flavor with slight traces of hop aroma that is always refreshing. Fancy. So basically they built a new tap room here in Tampa. Well, not here, but over there in Tampa. Um, the brewery's been there for a while now. And they actually built a tap room, I guess, maybe to compete with breweries and stuff. Except they're charging craft beer prices for stuff like this and... You know, for their traditional lager. You know, who wants to pay eight to nine dollars for something this size of just a Yingling? You know, when you can go to the gas station and get a twenty-four ounce for like a couple of dollars. I don't get it, but they're doing their thing. Whatever. All I know is that since that tap room's opened, I have started to find more of the Yingling brands in our stores, including the Lord Chetty or Lord Chesterfield, and this one, which you know usually. All I, we could ever find was the lager. So let's get into this. This is also a lager, by the way. It's just a Pilsner style. Yeah, so you got that, that, that beer smell, that, that cheap beer smell. It smells like a Budweiser or any kind of a cheap beer. There's nothing, you know, malty, corn syrupy sort of. Yeah, there's a little bit of hops there on the no nose. It's just got that mega produced beer smell. It's a pretty beer though. I mean, I'm not saying I don't like this thing by any means. I just look at it. Yeah, nice thing. It definitely, they, they nailed the Pilsner style. Nice with the, clear, the clarity there. Got a kind of a... Hmm. Looks kind of semi glow, you know, almost a little wet, but mostly a dry foam for the head. Right. Look at that. That's a, just the like picture perfect clarity, you know. I love that. I do like that. that this is hard to achieve, you know. Masters and ma major producers can obviously do it because they got the million dollar equipment to do it on. Keyword million dollar equipment. So, oops, my bad. I jumped the gun. Obviously, you can see it's about about a three, a little lighter in color too. So I'm about to have yeah, a two or three on the SRM, maybe a three for sure. I'm never gonna be able to get the head in this glass. So I'm gonna have to invest in a new pint glass or mug or something that because this one, as you can see, when I tilt it, I'm not gonna be able to taste the head on it. No worries, it's a cheap beer anyways. So let's dive in. Oh. Smells the same as it did in the can. Sound out. Ah. 
Yangling. It's American for beer. It's beer from America. Yeah. It's one of the last ones holding out and that are still not, you know, selling themselves out to everybody else. For that, I really like that. You have no idea us Americans like that because God bless it. All we are is a big orgy of the rest of the world. That's all America really is. You know, it's a big orgy here. So let's look things that are unique to our individualism that, you know, it, it, it was created there. It got forged in the fires of time. So things like Budweiser used to be, and then they sold out to the rest of the world and became part of that orgy again. This one's holding their own. I like that. Other than that, this beer doesn't have too much to offer besides crushability. Definitely got crushability there. It's got a nice crisp finish, light in the body, pleasant on the palate. I like that. Um, it's there's, there's nothing real special, but it is a clean beer. It's a refreshing beer. It's definitely a lawnmower beer, but there's not really anything special about it. You know, it's it doesn't stand apart from others. So I'm gonna probably throw this one in a taste challenge as well. So food wise, you could definitely pair this with just about anything. Um, right off the top of my head, I'm thinking of a McDouble. You know, I want to go get me a McDouble or something. You know, or or, uh, yeah, I don't know, a McDouble stuck in my head. And a McChicken, yeah, so, I don't know why. Maybe because today's Hamburger Day. National Hamburger Day. Yeah. National Cheeseburger Day. Oh, Cheeseburger Day. I was just corrected there, so. All right. <laughs> now I'm really craving cheeseburgers. Can you tell? Anyways, moving along online with... Only and this is I, this is what gets me. I was shocked by this, the the low amount of reviews. So I don't know. If this this isn't a new beer. I did the research and this has been out for a long, long time. I don't know if maybe it was only in a select market in Pennsylvania, and I that's my guess. Six hundred thirty six on Beer Advocate. There are uh, six hundred thirty six reviews. It's a sixty eight. Ouch! Out of a hundred. Average of 2.92. 636 is actually not too bad for Beer Advocate. That many are check-ins. Untapped with 15.4 thousand reviews, which isn't really a whole lot. 3.21. So I was expecting to see this with the hundreds of thousands on Untapped, and I was just shocked when I saw 14 points, or 15, a little over 15.4 thousand <clears throat> um, for me. Would I buy this beer again? Absolutely, I'd buy this beer again. I'm actually going to keep myself stocked on this beer all the damn time because it's cheap. And I like good, cheap beer because it's good. It's not a bad beer at all. This is crushable. It's a good damn beer. And it's cheap. Mm-hmm. And I like cheap beer. I like it because it's cheap. And it gets me, you know, 4.5% for cheap beer is not bad. It's not the... the I'm not drinking it for enjoyment, really. Sometimes it's just to have something to drink and to have a beer. I'll buy it for the cheapness, you know, when I want to have a beer. Now, I'm not going to go craving it. It's not going to go ringing memory bells. It ain't doing nothing like that. Um, but it isn't a bad beer. All in all, Big B Beer Review grade. I think I'm going to give this bad boy a C+. Yeah. It deserves a good old C plus from the big B. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, what y'all think of this beer if you tried it, and let me know what y'all think I should do because I'm going to taste challenge this one. Um, if you know of another good premium pilsner or whatever it is, uh, I'm ju I just recently had the Rio Lager beer, and I'm thinking of doing a taste challenge of that. Let me know if you guys agree. Um, if you know of another pilsner to compare this to. Don't go up there with like Pilsner or Kell and stuff like that because this is nothing like that. Um, you know what I mean. Budweiser, Coors. Well, let me know in your opinions in the comments below what you guys think I really should put this up against. I want to know. And I'll go with the ones that I get to see the most of, basically. Let me know in the polls below. So, I hope you all enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed drinking it. If so, please hit like, subscribe, and share. Um... 
check out my group, Beer Reviewer United, on Facebook. Uh, if you're a reviewer, join the group and share your reviews there as well. And I hope to catch you all here at the Dan Bar for the next one. Till next time. Shalom.